Well, this is something new. Red vs Blue, Self-Fulfilling Odyssey. Where do we even begin with this one? Well, let's start with Carolina Washington. I'm not joking when I say I sort of actually did ship these two like back in the Chorus Trilogy. And I love what they're doing with the characters now. I mean, the voice actors, they need to be given fucking Oscars, I swear. Personally, myself, I'm not really that big on romance in the stories. Like, say, Barry and Iris in The Flash, didn't really care for that. Not even the ships in Ruby, like Bumblebee. And I know that's a lot of a hot issue right now, but honestly, I'm not really that big of a romance person for stories. I mean, Caroline and Washington, I can see why they would get together, and it makes sense. They both respect each other, and... Well, they're not just being written like some lovey-dovey couple, they actually talk like people, like... Carolina feels bad about going back in time, of course, and having Wash get shot. And she also feels bad about lying to Wash about his neck injury. But Wash can see where she's coming from, knowing that she would risk everything to save him, even if he went destroying time. Alright, now I'm something a little less serious. Sarge's speech. This is something I could see Sarge doing back in Blood Gulch. And if there's one thing Sarge is known for, it is great speeches. And I did get a good chuckle out of it. Not really much to talk about for that scene, so... Yeah. And the scene that I'm pretty sure everyone's talking about... Caboose. Holy fuck. This season, these few seasons have been... Wow, just wow for Caboose. I mean, his understanding of death, coming to terms with church, and even just seeing church again. I mean... The way he just talks about how he's dealing with his grief about losing church, how he holds onto his helmet and how the pain doesn't really go away. This this show has gotten deep before, but this is just I mean, goddamn. I never knew Caboose could be this deep. I mean there were glimpses of it, like during season 15, but the way he threatened Gankins, it just... <sighs> Caboose might just be, be my favourite character in this show. He used to be Locust, but I think Caboose became my favourite character again. The way he just attacks him, just pounds on Gankins. I mean, wow. Thing that I did notice. Gankins did leave Church's body, and we heard Church. Like an actual Bernie church. Which could mean something. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, but... We could get church coming back. And I know some people are saying you should stay dead, but honestly, when has church ever stayed dead? Answer, never. I mean, come on, there are technically actual gods at play here. Bringing church back is not the worst idea. I mean, it wouldn't be the same church we had in season 13, that was Epsilon. But still, it's church, one of my favourite characters. Of course, if we're going by that logic, we would have to bring back Sheila, Andy the Bomb. Hell, even Junior would have to come back. So, unfortunately, I don't believe that church will be coming back. Although, now that I think about it, so would Delta, he would have to come back as well. Honestly, I don't think they might have go to as much trouble as actually having Delta appear, if he wasn't going to be some sort of main staying focus of the season. Like, I've got some friends who've been talking about this show, and they've been saying that one of the AIs is going to come back. Apparently, one of my friends, her brother, like, works with 343 Industries, and he, like, was talking with Rooster Teeth about something. And apparently he told her that one of the AI fragments will be coming back. She said it was going to be a fan favourite, so I instantly thought Delta or Theta. But it looks like it might be Delta that comes back, I don't know. In closing, Washington and Carolina have great chemistry, Sarge is great at speeches, and Caboose... I need a whole video to talk about Caboose, let me tell ya.